Thanks for joining me in another video today. So I went on another road trip, but this time I traveled through Arizona, Utah, then Nevada, and then back home to Arizona. Again, I was in a Tesla Model 3 dual motor um, for this road trip. So I'll show you all the sightseeing I did, and most importantly, where I charged. So at the end of this video, I'll give you the total cost of all the places I charged at. So enjoy! Hi, I'm going on another road trip today. I'm going to be traveling through Arizona, Utah, and Nevada in my electric vehicle. Let's see how it goes. I'm at my first charging spot in Flagstaff, Arizona, and it says to charge for around 10 to 15 minutes before I go to the next stop um, in Page, Arizona. And I'll check back with you right now to see how much this charge was. So I charged for 15 minutes and the cost was $3.36. I'm charging up now in Page, Arizona, here where there is a horseshoe bend in the Antelope Canyon. And I'm going to charge up enough to head out tomorrow to Bryce Canyon in Utah. All right, going to stop charging and the current session is four dollars and eighty cents so i'm still in page arizona i'm going to be traveling to utah and because i did do some sightseeing gonna charge a little bit more and I was charging now for 20 minutes and the cost is three dollars and ninety six cents I'm now in Utah I traveled from Page Arizona and I'm currently plugged in at one of the chargers so I'm staying in Bryce Canyon and there's not any um, DC fast charges around but luckily the hotel I'm staying at which is called Bryce Canyon Inn already has two Tesla chargers set up so worst case scenario if both of them were taken up I can use the outlet in front of my cabin to charge so one good thing to know is before you go out to travel and to far distances, make sure you check what chargers are available and a lot of hotels will already have um, charging stations set up for their guests, so that's pretty neat. I'm here in the middle of Zion National Park and I am parked in front of two EVs charging stations. And I'm charging off of one right now and I plugged in and it started charging so I guess they're free. So I'm going to charge up for a little bit, do some hikes, then come back and hopefully it'll be charged up enough and we can head back on up. All right, so I'm heading to Nevada now from Utah. Goodbye hotel, and I'm plugging, so let's go. I made it here to Nevada in Las Vegas, and I parked right now at the version three superchargers. So I'm gonna plug in and tell you a little bit more about them. So I'm charging at a version three supercharger, which is for Teslas, and it's faster than the version two. Um, the version two tops off at 150 kilowatts. The version three tops off at 250 kilowatts, which translates to charging over a thousand miles an hour. And that is so fast.
Um, if you can hear in the background that humming noise, since the car's been charging so fast, it's th that's the battery cooling down right now. So I didn't charge there the whole way, I just went from like 15% to 50% and so the cost of that was $7.50 and I was probably only there for like five or less than five minutes and got a lot of charge out of that. In Vegas, there were a lot of options to charge at no extra cost. Here, as you can see, there are two chargers for Teslas and other EVs that take the J connector. Of course, I had to pay for parking, but that is a given if you're staying on the strip in a resort. The perk is, they had free charging available in the garage. So I'm in Kingman, Arizona. I just left Vegas a while ago, and I'm charging here for five minutes and um, the current session is one dollar so I'll just unplug and head back home. Okay, before I give you the final cost, I do have to say that I stopped in a city in between Kingman and Phoenix, Arizona and that city is called Wittenberg and I stopped to visit people I knew there um, so at their house, I plugged into their outlet and was there for maybe two or three hours so I got a good uh, free charge out of that so I guess that's a benefit if you know people while you're traveling, ask them if you can plug in your car there. It's recharging, maybe you can buy them dinner or something. But anyway, um, if I hadn't stopped in Wickenburg, um, I would have been charging a little bit longer at the Kingman Supercharger, which would have brought my cost up by maybe a dollar or two. Okay, so the total cost for the entire trip, which I estimate was around 1,340 miles, um, the total cost was $19.62. Wow! Confetti party! That was under $20. Now tell me that's not a good deal. Well, I mean, it's better than paying gas. Under $20? That is really good. So that's not counting the charge I did in Phoenix before I even left for the trip. And, um, I mean, along the way, all I did was um, plug in where there was chargers available that were for free at the hotel, at a restaurant, wherever it was. Um, I mean, I paid for parking in Las Vegas, but who doesn't pay for parking in Las Vegas? So that was probably like $15 a night, but there was still chargers in garages and parking lots that these chargers, they didn't charge you anything. So these chargers didn't charge you anything. These chargers didn't have any cost. Um, but. Yeah, isn't that great? Under $20, this whole trip. Actually, the cost was $20.62. While I was editing the video, I forgot to add $1, which was the cost at Kingman while I was supercharging. So I guess it's not under $20, but still, it's $20 range. That is still impressive. A tip if you're going to um, drive with your EV into the unknown is um, using the app Plugshare. And I'm sure there's other apps that are similar out there, but this is the one that I use to plan this trip. And with that app, you can filter out um, all the different chargers that are along the route, as well as filtering out if it's free or if there's a fee with it, or the different types of connectors there is for the different EVs. And so with this, you can plan your trip and maybe find out if a restaurant or a hotel has a charger that you can use, or maybe you'll take one road instead of the other um, based on how many charges are available. So I would really recommend planning out your trip if you're going somewhere you're unfamiliar with and try looking out for apps and then just um, planning even on Google Maps. They have um, some EV stations that show up on, a, on the Google Maps as well. Now it's time for my segment where Kaya helps me unbox toy cars. So the first one I have is a little Nissan Leaf. Um, it's already in box and that's because I had it on display on my desk as you can see throughout the videos. So looking online at the Nissan Leaf website, for 2020 they have different kinds um, and different trims. So they have the Nissan Leaf S, Leaf SV, Leaf S Plus, Leaf SV Plus, and the Leaf SL Plus. And I'll just start off, or I'll just do the Leaf S, 
which is a cheaper one, which starts out at $31,600. Alright Kaya, who's chewing a piece of paper, ready to help me with the specs of the Nissan Leaf? She's just doing her paper. So the Nissan Leaf uses two connector types, the J1772 and the Chattaco. So for the 2019 spec for the Nissan Leaf S online, say that it has a 110 kilowatt electric motor and it has up to 149 mile range. So it's pretty neat. Some other things to note about the Nissan Leaf is if you upgrade to the Nissan Leaf Plus, um, you get a higher electric range, which online it says, and I think this is for the 2019, is an electric range of 226 miles. And for charging time, at a level one, um, you can charge in 2.5 days. For a level two, is 11.5 hours. And for a DC fast charge, um, you'll get 80% in 45 minutes. Kaya, why are you digging into my carpet? We're supposed to be reviewing the Nissan Leaf. Kaya, what do you think about the Nissan Leaf? Alright, that's a wrap. Thanks for spending time with me today. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Kaya's Tesla. Kaya's my dog. And usually I show a picture of Kaya, but well, give me a second and I'll bring her right in. Hi guys, this is Kaya. If she doesn't want to be standing up by the desk right now, sorry. One thing I did forget to mention is if you're interested in buying a Tesla, make sure to use the, my referral code in the description below. Kaya just doesn't want to be here. Sorry. <laughs> oh well.